Hey guys, so I don't tend to like talk about things like politics or religion, um, that kind of thing on my channel, stuff that like kind of, you know, would possibly offend people or cause like serious debates or anything. I try and keep this kind of like a happy place talking about travels and journals and food and all that kind of stuff. Um, but then there's something that's like quite close to my heart and something that I feel quite um, passionate about. So I thought I would do a little video Hello, about baby. it. Hello, kiddo. Um, Hello. Hello. <laughs> Can I put something to eat on? Can I put something to eat on? room change because you know <laughs> um so yeah i yeah try and steer clear things steer clear of things that i feel might be of that nature but there's something that i feel really really passionate about that i kind of like want to share with you guys and i hope that you also feel passionate about it too and might join me in kind of like the cause as it were so um i for a long time have disliked the amount of um, plastic that um, our food comes in. Um, if you've ever seen any of my food hauls that I've done, I've always kind of moaned about the amount of plastic that's, everything's just wrapped in plastic and more plastic and more plastic and more plastic. And um, the other day I kind of hit a point where I was like, oh this is enough, this is enough. So I, um, I just lately have been doing my shopping in Tesco's. Um, I've gone back to doing shopping in a shop rather than online. And I always take my reusable bags with me. And um, I self-scan as well. And I picked up five cooking apples, okay? Took them over to the scale, um, put them on the scale, weighed them, printed out the barcode, scanned the barcode, and this um, member of staff was like, you need a bag for those. I was like, no, I don't. I've got a carry bag, like, a, you know, a proper reusable um, Hessian, are they Hessian? Anyway, a proper, like, reusable ones that you've paid, like, between one and five pounds for. Those types of proper reusable shopping bags. I was like, no, I don't need to put them in a plastic bag. I'm just, they're just going straight into my shopping bag. And then they're coming home and going in my, you know, fruit bowl. She was like, no, you've got to put those in a carry bag. And I'm like, um, no, I don't need it. I don't need a, you know, those like, those plastic, clear plastic bags that, that fresh fruit and vegetable people put them in. I'm like, no, I don't need, and then basically had this argument with this woman who worked at Tesco's that I didn't need a flimsy plastic bag to put my five apples in because I printed a, la I printed a label. Printing off a label was bad enough. I'm like, why can't I just scan the label? Like, digitally why do i have to print a label out but i was like no i've just i've zapped my label they're pay, they're like gonna be paid for I'm like why the hell do i need a bag as well and so i got to this point and i was like this is just crazy our use of plastic is just crazy so i've set up a petition i've set up a my first petition which i will leave a link for down below and if you feel passionate to be about this as well i'd love it if you would sign it so my my petition is to petition to get supermarkets to ban the use of those single use flimsy crappy plastic bags that they have for loose fruit and vegetables ban them ditch them they're not allowed to use them anymore um and instead start selling reusable bags for the loose fruit and veg like hessian ones or fabric ones or whatever just like you know reusable stuff for for anything, you, your vegetables that are that are loose. That is my that is my thing. That is what I feel passionate about. I feel like we create too much waste, and it's really disheartening the amount of plastic that you just see washing up on the shore and stuff. So I'm gonna probably pop. I'm gonna find some photos. I'm gonna tell you hands down that none of them are my photos. I would have stolen them off the internet. But I feel ethically that that is an okay thing to do if it raises the awareness of the of what I'm talking about. I feel that like the photographers would be okay with that because that was the whole point of photographing that bad plastic situation is to raise awareness of it. So yeah, so I'm hoping that 
whoever you are, you will feel the same way that this just got to stop, that we need to start looking after our environment and cutting out the amount of plastic we use and that you'll sign the petition for me and you'll share it with all your friends and like this video. Please, please, please like this video and share this video as well because that is how we're going to like raise more awareness and get more people to sign it and really try and start doing something about our environment. It can be done, it can be done. Supermarkets did it with carrier bags. You know, they got rid of the carrier bags, they started charging 5p for the carrier bags, and now like Tesco's have got rid of them all together and you can only buy the 10p bag for life or the big, more expensive ones. So they've done it with those, they can do it with the loose fruit and vegetables. And it's got to the point like, do you remember, like I remember years ago, you used to be able to get paper bags to put your mushrooms in. Where have they gone? They seem to have disappeared. I, I don't see any of them anymore. Um, so yeah, Tesco's, if you're watching this, please, 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 please start making some actions. Just some like, you know, you know, like the drawstring fabric bags that you used to take your wellies into school or your PE kit into school. Something like that. That would just be fine. You know, that would be fine. Reuse it. We, we're used to like taking our bags with us every time we go shopping now, we will get used to using those and ditch that crappy, crappy plastic. So there we go guys, like this video, sign the petition that is down below and please share this video, share this petition and hopefully we can start to get some change happening for the good of the world. Much love.